And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sivir Dragons to kick off our rank up Thursday. This is the last day for um, ranking up to qualify for the seasonal tournament that's going to be on Saturday. So we need to get in the top 700. We're kind of looking at the leaderboard and it looks like probably around 120 LP. If we get there should be safe. Um, so that's going to be the goal today. So we are doing ranked for ranking up, but if we do get to a safe spot, um, like where if we win a lot, we will go ahead and uh, finish with ranked and then just head on over to normal after that uh, to make sure to not mess up our rank. Because <laughs> we've gotten there a couple of times last couple of days and then we keep playing ranked and then we lose a lot uh, afterwards and we go all the way back down to zero. Um, so, uh, you know, because I want to qualify for that tournament <laughs> on Saturday. All right, so first deck today, Calling this one Sivered Dragons. This is um, basically a deck that I put together today after playing against this kind of deck a few times recently. Um, and so I kind of put together my own list of, of cards that I like that are kind of like this. But what, what we have here is we have a deck that, that focuses on Spell Shield quite a bit. We have Sivir, Fused Firebrand with the Spell Shield, and then Fight Spells with Siphoning Strike and Boomerang Blade. Uh, to go along with larger units and you know like uh, these larger fury units plus we have like the eclipse dragon aurelian soul uh, part of the deck where you know aurelian soul is just such a great top end card um, i'm playing an enviolus vox because i really like that card <laughs> but this is another good card that if you know you have this out there you're killing stuff you're creating a bunch of dragons so you know like we have a lot of dragons here with targon and these fight spells that i i love so i, I love playing siphoning strike and Boomerang Blade's really fun to play too. So we, we got that kind of stuff. I'm worried about people going, uh, being aggressive and, and going underneath us. So we got got a Spirit Fire to try to help out against that. We got some Lifesteal with the Fangs and some Sunforgers. Sunforger being a good card to have with Fight Spells. Um, if you can play this and a Fight Spell at the same turn. And then, I'll, of course, some Star Shapings to heal our Nexus as well. Early on, um, for getting to there, we're going to be playing a couple of Zoe's just to, to help because, um, you know, Zoe can just give you a lot of like early cards and like cards just kind of play and, and interact with the opponent. So we got a couple of Zoe's for that. I feel like uh, Zoe growing to be a 3-3 would be pretty nice from a Siphoning Strike also. We got Merciless Hunter, does a good job controlling the board, and a couple of good two drops with Blue Sentinel, Mountain Goat. I, th I think Blue Sentinel's really underrated myself, um, especially with having a higher curve and all these dragons and stuff. We have a Blue Sentinel die in combat and, you know, it gives us that extra mana and therefore we can play like a dragon before we're supposed to and that should help us out. So let's go and give this a try. I haven't played too many games with this yet, um, but I am concerned like this um, as far as like the seasonal tournament on Saturday, I'm pretty set on playing the Victor Vi Invoke and I'm definitely playing my Howling Abyss control deck. So we are playing those two decks, um, but the third deck I've been mostly playing Zoe Shivana. You saw it yesterday. I haven't been like super, super impressed with it recently. So I want to try a couple of other Zoe decks to maybe replace Zoe Shivana. So we're going to try this one, this Zoe Sivir, and then also going to try a Mountain Zoe, basically an all Targon Invoke Zoe deck. And we're going to just kind of see how those two decks, um, how these two decks feel as maybe the third deck for the seasonal tournament. But hopefully we do some ranking up with them. Uh, we're at 56 LP right now, trying to get this to like 120. So here we go. I'm not going to change my deck because of that. All right, we got Thresh Nasus to start with. So we got Zoe, Spacey Sketcher. We'll keep both of those. And then we got Zoe, Spacey Sketcher. And looks like we have to keep both of those. Pool Party Zoe. I forgot about the new board and stuff. We should be using the new board right here. The Emperor commands the land obey. Block for me, Blue Sentinel. Yeah, no, no pool party over here for Zoe. I'll change the board after this game. 
Because, like, this Targon board should be, like, our mountain deck anyway. Like, you know, like, that's a Targon deck. Not too, too surprised by that Merciless Hunter right there. Disappointed. Yes, but not too surprised. Alright, so we, we have a lot of great cards we can draw into, right? Because, like, our deck has a lot of powerful stuff, right? Like, we have, um, you know, Sivir and a whole bunch of dragons. The name of our deck, Sivir Dragons. We haven't seen any of that yet. So, um, I think that we can have some good draws in the upcoming little bit. Oh, we gotta take Fallen Comet. I would usually take the Traveler right there, considering the rest of my hand. But I feel like we have to have uh, Fallen Comet available for both of their champions. Because, as we know, the, their champion is super scary. They've been playing pretty slow. So you got to imagine that they got some champions over there. Very glad no Glimpse Beyond. That's good. So Solari Priestess did its job. Removed a Thresh and put a 1-2 into play. Forgetting is death to an immortal. Ooh, Envious Vox is interesting. I guess I'm just playing it right now. Yeah. Envious Vox! So probably no more Thresh, right? Because if they had another Thresh, they would um, they would have played it first before sacrificing. Sand and blood. Wrap them up tight. I can't wait till they remove Fearsome from Merciless Hunter. That's going to be great. So yeah, I just think with the Spear of Fire, I think that, that was a mistake by me with my block. I think I should have blocked this 4-3 and let them keep the, you know, that other thing would have been a 4-2. It would have taken, like, the same amount of damage. Or I guess maybe it would have only been a 3-2. I can't really just pass. Betrayal buried true. Hope revived it. I think I'd have two hush in here. Yeah, just two hush. If I'm forgotten, then no. Sivir. So I think what's Pretty likely is uh, right of negation. That's what I'm kind of thinking. I'm hoping, yeah, because I think I may have to play both of these. Well, let's see. Wait. Hopefully not. Like, I mean, this would be great if this worked. Wow, that's pretty great. Wow, 
That was pretty great. Wasn't necessarily expecting that to work. Yeah, I mean, we kind of have to kill stuff. Danger. Even though, of course, that is two deaths for Thresh. Or maybe... Thank you, Delphinus. Thanks for the luck. Now we're getting our Sivir and our Dragons. After having the Invoke stuff first. This is looking pretty good right now. Let me just pass. They'll let the Nasus one resolve last round. You'd think they this one would resolve as well. Cool. Could have just died since I, you know not holding up star shaping could have just died to you know, NASA splits atrocity. Sivir is sweet. Alright, we get some fury on our dragons. Getting some kills. Take it up with my blade. Hmm. Don't really know what I would get here. I already have Crescent Strike. Cast Trickster? <laughs> you know, like, I don't... Like, none of these really this do anything. I guess just another Crescent Strike. That's gotta be Atrocity over there, right? So if they have been paying attention, they know that it, they should know they have the two other cards like that. Okay, I'm seeing if I could get an obliterate. Well, that will do. You must know me, little one. You must. I mean, just might as well. Aren't that aren't those aren't that good? <laughs> Boomerang blades for pretty sweet. Okay, there we go. Cause yeah, cause we're gonna have boomerang blade plus a stun two, plus then like maybe even another stun two, and then assuming that's atrocity, then we hush. We had that. Oh, very. Oh, it's too late. I'm sorry, sodium umbrella. You had. Ah, oh, I didn't do the pool party. I didn't get the new, the new board. Oh, I'm getting so punished for playing against hyper aggro, and it's just seven mana cards across the board. Getting so punished for not getting the pool party. You won't get past me. Oh, look at this reality. Look how far Thank you, Kitty Xerity. 
I appreciate that. Yeah, I like the Targon board. I like the colors. And... Okay, so I guess I'm going Moon Silver. I mean, so I can get the the one mana four one. But if I go Moon Silver, I can like Moon Silver the Fangs next round. Yeah, I guess I do that. Because then I have Fangs next round. And then Sivir the round after that. Assuming they play something. Be a lot of damage. It's down to ten. You've got a problem, I've got a price. I guess I should have just kept the Spirit Fire. You know, like, I just mulliganed everything because of 7 mana cards, and I, I didn't really think about it too much. But just in this matchup, like, this is a very good Spirit Fire matchup. I don't know. Yeah, like, I should have kept Spirit Fire. Yeah, I definitely should have. Okay. Well, this is the worry with playing a deck like this. Uh, like, a deck like that I'm playing is playing against the... That kind of Noxus go wide aggro. I think that's not a good matchup. The last few times I've played against that deck, I've seen Battlecaster in it. What's up, Randanny? Hello, hello. Alright, we got our pool party. So wait. Zillion Swain. I kind of think I want both Sivir and the Fangs, even though they're keeping two four mana cards. Wolf Rider. Oh wait, what is this? Wolf Rider Fen? That doesn't sound right. Not Wolf Rider. Wave Rider. That sounds better. Wave Rider? Dig for treasure. Alright, so we're playing against Swain Zillion. Figure that's a control deck. Oh, wait, wait, was Equinox an, a card I could have taken? Oh, I should have taken Equinox. I was, okay, so basically what I was thinking is like, alright, well, we're gonna want as many threats as possible, so I just took another threat with the Trickster. But I didn't think about, okay, well, Swain means Leviathan, Leviathan means take Equinox. I forgot about that. Okay, getting back into the game. <laughs> Supposed to take Equinox. Time is winding. <laughs> no Equinox this time. I'm just gonna take the thing that draws a card. Drawing cards is cool. Find 
a gift for an acting. Right, Arda? So three mana. They probably don't have a way to kill Sivir with three mana. <laughs> Wouldn't expect so. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. Yes, they do. Sorry, we dealt a lot of damage, as far as leveling up Sivir is concerned. Dealt a lot of damage right there. I like this music. I like this board. Oh, uh, let's see. There you go. There's the the rest of the board if you haven't seen it. Nothing's lost. It's just waiting to be found. It's just waiting to be found. That's Talia. Talia hanging out with what's who is this? Sebastian? In a boombox. Connecting. There we go. It's a living. Listen to me. All right, thirty two damage for Sivir. One of four time bombs. They got three more in the deck right now. They've just played one zillion. <laughs> Some connection issues with the board. Destination in sight. I know I have Equinox, but then it's still like a 5-2, and that's annoying to deal with. Or a 5-8, sorry. A 5-8, and that's annoying to deal with. I'll just save the Equinox. Save it for now. Never good. All right, Silver so leveled up. Their swains at zero? That's not right. Okay, it's at seven. <laughs> I was like, that's not right. So I know they had like the time bomb and the spirit fire. But I think that's about all they've had so far. It's like, I don't think it's zero. Destination in sight. Bring these Always what Swain decks are concerned about facing is Targon. Because that's just so brutal. That Supernova. So that levels up Swain. No, it doesn't. 11. Open attack, or I can play a bunch of things. I can play like... 1, 2, 3, 4. I can just play 4 things. I kind of feel like it's better to play 4 things. Okay, maybe it wasn't better to play four things. We love it when they run. Is that another spear fire? Yep. Okay. 
So we dealt a little bit less damage than we could have if we opened attacked, but got a bunch of good stuff out of their hand. I got some gems. This one's gonna be an open attack. This one's a fighter. I mean, it's honestly a good attack. Makes sense to attack, because otherwise, like, all my things have quick attack. This game's already over. But, like, okay, maybe not necessarily the Zillion was a good attack, but, like, the 3-1... Was a good attack. All right, GG's. There we go. Guess who just earned her bonus? Two and one. Currently undefeated on the pool party board, but now we're gonna have a really tough test. I, I, I guess I just have to keep Spirit Fire. I guess I just have to keep it. Yeah, it's a very good. Yeah, that Zillion emote's very good. Well, not a very good hand. Really not a very good hand. Wow. Jerima, your emperor has returned. When everything goes wrong. Yeah, I'm, I'm over to the side a little bit on the camera for, I mean, the doggo, like, there's no puppy in there, but usually there's a doggo in the in the dog bed. And so that's why I'm not in the exact center. It's a living. What? Really? That's just the best use of, of having an Azir in your hand that you, that you can think of, is just save five life. That's the best we got. So I guess it levels up the Azir. I guess it does that. I have 
Like usual, I need an additional mana that I don't have. I need Hush to go along with Spirit Fire. The reason to block is to help level Sivir up. The reason not to block is I'm having the plus three plus one. If they have the plus three plus one. I'm in trouble. Yes, this is the last day of the season to rank. Because uh, then the, the tournament is on Saturday, and this is the last day. Here's your cut. Take three, go to ten. Zoe is at six. Oh, really? This doesn't take two damage? After being silenced? So because that thing, like, if that would have taken the two damage after being silenced and it would be dead, then like this would have been a nice spot for Boomerang Blade. Um, be able to help kill the Azir. I, I'm just, I'm really worried about the recall cards. As far as... Um, you know, like a siphoning strike is concerned. They cast the Blossoming Blade, then they won't have the mana for a recall card, and then I can siphoning strike and kill Azir. But I also have to, like, take a ton of damage right here. Because I can hush, and but then I can't siphoning strike, but I could hush the Azir and then get rid of the plus two, plus one, or... Wait, will these still have the plus one, plus zeros? I guess... No, I guess they, they would still have the plus one, plus zeros. Alright, so hush doesn't this do anything. I gotta block and go to three. I guess the better play... So this thing's gonna be a 4-3. I guess the better play was playing the Zoe first, just because Zoe would be at 2 out of 10 instead of 1 out of 10. What a bad hand we had, though, of <laughs> double hush, double boomerang blade. We're still trying to make it work, but... I don't know. So what's my plan? Mountain Goat? A boomerang blade, I assume, would kill the silenced one. Unfortunately. So I guess my plan is what Mountain Goat, Hush, and Star Shaping. I can't have all that. So like Mountain Goat, Star Shaping. Is that good enough to stay alive? Yeah, I do like the background music with this board. I, you can't I couldn't gem sivir then block. Ge gems focus speed. I couldn't I couldn't like that That's not allowed.
My, my hand is so bad. So bad. Hey, John Thanos. My hands are shaking. Then hold on to mine. So if I block one of those with just the 9-5, then they get to blade surge the other one and do an additional two points of damage to me. So it's just not worth the block. And Boomerang Blade won't even kill Aurelia if they play something smaller. Um, we're, I'm at like, for, for the goal, we're, I'm at like 70 LP right now, looking to try to get to like 120 LP. I guess right there I could have Boomerang Blade, but then they just recall. And that's not fantastic. I should have gemmed the Sivir. Here's your cut. But I'll still take this trade. Um, Zoe's at seven now. So not that far. Now eight. These are really not helpful. I need bodies to put into play. That was a pretty good draw. You're on the back foot. We finally had a good draw. <laughs> yeah, they just get it. Go and keep recalling. I dance not to forget, but to remember. I guess I'm just going with this to try to kill the Aurelia. <laughs> Don't know what that last card is. Could just be another recall. Level up, Zoe! <laughs> Gotta love the elephant. That's all. So I'm not sure what that last part is. They haven't been playing it. Is it like a Nopify? Or a Syncopation? I don't know, this worked last time. Let's just do it again. I think that we won that because of the nine mana obliterate both landmarks. I think that's, that really helped us win that. Also, my opponent completely wasting an Azir just to block a Sivir. So if it's winter where you live right now, that should be like the reason to buy the pool party skins, right? So then you can pretend like it's summer. I guess I don't keep Spacey Sketcher either. Kind of forgot we had Eclipse Dragon, Aurelian Soul in our deck. I hadn't seen those in any of the games. 
except for in openers that we mulligan. All right, so we're gonna see if we can defeat the deep. Sea monsters v dragons. So assuming they have the two mana sea monster, I would definitely trade that with the mountain. Yeah, like that's gonna be a two three, and so I would definitely trade that with the mountain goat. And so that's kind of the reason to lead with mountain goat. So my better, yeah, my better play against Maokai would have been to uh, just have Gem Siphoning Strike available. And that's a great card for Jaw Hunters to create, because that's just another Maokai, basically. Try to take them both out. The Sea Scarab and the Maokai. Heads up. Dude, heads up is definitely something you'd hear, hear at a pool party, right? I just imagine Sivir and some friends with like a beach volleyball that like goes way off course. Heads up. Good quality Jolt Hunters. That was good Jolt Hunters. Get more sea monsters out of here. I think at this point I'm in. I'm in. Um, the blessed isles live through me. Uh, I'm in uh, nightfall mode on this eclipse dragon, considering what we have. Tossed a ton. Was a very good round for them. Yeah, that, that last round they got rid of about ten cards. They, they were going slow because they had, you know, like they are playing like Jaw Hunters and stuff like that, having good interaction, killing my stuff. I use a gem. I don't know if that's worth it or not, but obviously we're going to lose that mana. So many Abyssal Eyes. Dang.
We did get the pupper. So I was planning on Merciless Hunter into Enviolus Vox. Yeah, I guess I, ha I have to Merciless Hunter. Obviously the Aurelian Soul would be really nice to play, but I mean, I'm at eight. They got like these things. I'm actually probably supposed to just play the Imperion. This is the, the really good part about having just these 6-6 six, six elusives that, you know, they get to take the turn off to play their champion while I do not. Alright, three and two. Okay, so our deck was pretty good. It wasn't like perfect or anything, but I liked a lot of what we had going on, um, you know, with the dragons and the strikes and everything like that. So I, I liked a lot of what we had going on, but um, I don't know. It was so it was pretty good. I mean, three and two, nothing wrong with that. Like we ran into a Noxus person that that went like super wide, and then that was a that was a great deep hand with, you know, the Jaw Hunters and Malkai's early and and having three of those six six elusives, you know. Um, multiple of the devourers and you know nautilus you know like that was just a very good deep hand um yes i could have kept playing i know we weren't officially dead yet um of course but they're we're just not winning that game so uh i'm just i'm uh you know conceding a little early today just so i can we can get some more games in and so i can try to get that rank up but um i liked this deck i'll have to keep on working at it more and definitely considering this for the seasonal. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. Uh, let me know what you think of Sivir and Spell Shield and Fight Spells with Sivir Dragons. But that's going to be it here for Sivir Dragons. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.